You know, it seems no matter how you look at it, no matter what you link to for people to read or watch, or even what you text up, a lot of people pretty much say that when you talk about something else, you're literally hiding how you feel. You know, at the Sega Forums, one of the more recent posters there said that I'm hiding behind videos and links to other people's rants and everything about how I truly feel about what Ian Flynn did to a certain character in a certain main comic book. Now, I don't want to mention names or the comic because we pretty much know what character and comic that is. But a lot of people, a lot of people figure that I'm upset and that I'm hiding. Here's the truth, folks. And well, that I'm hiding that fact behind a lot of things. Let me tell you this honestly, to let anybody else know this. I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding anything. Let me let me explain. Let me be honest with you. You guys want me to be honest. People want me to be honest. Here's the truth. Yes, what Ian Flynn did to a certain character that I've been a fan of for many, many years, since almost the beginning, yeah, I am upset. Am I a little hurt? As a fan, yes. As a, as a whole, as a person, personally? No, I'm not hurt personally. As a fan, I'm hurt. But not what affects me in my daily activities, no. You see... But, you see, there's a reason why fans like me are upset and hurt as fans, as fans. It's because we're used to seeing a character the way they are, not what they've become. That's the whole thing. We're used to seeing a character the way they are and not what they have become. You know, I have, you know, a lot of people here on YouTube and over at DeviantArt and, you know, even at... Even at Saturday M. Sonic was saying, hey, Brian, B.W. Rosas, hey, Laser X5, hey, Jonathan 83X, Twilight 9, Game Boy Sage. They're all saying, hey, don't jump the gun. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. You don't know what's going to happen. Don't jump. Don't make false accusations. Well, let me explain this. I'm not jumping to any conclusion. The reason I'm in the middle is, again, is I'm one of the fans that even though I'm in the middle, and I'm just going to sit back like this and say, okay, Ian, let's see what you do next, and let's see how people react. Basically, what I do is I pass along messages to those that don't know what other people are saying to see if there's anybody out there that may feel differently or the same. You know, there are people that feel differently about what's going on, and some of the things they've said have made sense. Now, again, going back to what I'm saying, though, it's the fact that there's a lot of fans, long time, new time, that are used to seeing characters a certain way and not the way they are. I mean, you take a character in the most recent issue of a spin-off comic in one of the panels and say that that character... Now that, the, now that they're in the position they're in, is not only been remodeled, not only been turned into this, but has been upgraded to a certain level. And obviously, from either it's the artist, the way the artist was drawing or drawing the scene or something like that, probably didn't have enough room. Maybe not. But the way it is. You're basically taking a character that people are used to seeing a certain way and you're based in their eyes you're ruining it. You're ruining it. And that's why a lot of fans are upset. You know, uh, you know, some people could say, Oh, you're being obsessive. You shouldn't let you know, your obsessiveness, you shouldn't let one character be the center of a comic book or a television show or a movie. The truth is one the truth is that's the that's not the problem. The truth is, we're used to a character the way they are. We're used to seeing a character be the way they are. Or we're used to seeing some kind of, like, 
you know, kind of like some kind of bittersweetness. Like, okay, the character got turned into this, but oh, wait a minute, the character is probably still okay inside. That's why. That's what it is. I mean, I know a lot of people are saying, hey, look, you don't know the pay are coming out and saying, hey, the payoff's going to probably be good. You just don't know that. The, you know, the goodbye scene in a, in a recent issue is proof of that. Look, I'm not denying any of that. I'm not denying that. But the truth is, folks, it's more or less the fact that I'm not used to seeing the character the way that in, in this predicament, and neither is anybody else. And it's not just the fact that we're not used to seeing the character the way, the way they are, but it's what the, the writer is writing into for the artist to draw. I mean, literally, you have the artist, thanks to the writer's instructions, literally redesigned the character to a point that it makes it look like she's not, that character may never return to normal. But we all know that's not true. And I agree, it is for dramatic effect. It is to get people talking. But the fact of the matter is, folks, the fact of the matter is, there are more people that are against it than they are for it. And when I pass on the news that, oh, you need to look at this and see, you know, just to see what the reaction will be, just to see if either they'll be like, oh, I'm even more mad than ever, or, or something like, okay, whatever, we'll just see what happens, happens, or, or like, oh, cool, I like what I see. That's basically what I'm doing. And you may say, oh, you're just doing it for reactions, you're just doing it to get a reaction out of people. Isn't Ian Flynn doing the same thing? The truth is, folks, going back to what I'm saying, yes, I'm upset. Yes, as a fan, just like Laser X5, just like Jonathan 83X, Twilight Nod, Game Boy Sage, like fans, we're upset at what's happened because we're now used to seeing the character the way in that in that predicament. I mean, it's one thing. One thing is fans to see the character get turned into the same thing, get turned into a you know go through a similar situation in an earlier comic, in an earlier issue, but then get returned back to normal. But it's another thing to go as far as it's, you know, as far as many people are looking at this guy doing. Again though, I can understand it's for dramatic effect, it's to get people talking, it's to see exactly what the overall payoff will be in the end. And I'm not denying that. But again, it's more or less the fact that we're not used to seeing the character in this manner. And it's not just the fact that we're not used to seeing the character in this manner. It's the way, in many people's eyes, they were, that the writer went about, that Ian Flynn went about it. You know, Ian Flynn, I have said many times before, is, a, is a potentially a good writer. He's potentially a good writer, and I don't, and I repeat this, don't want to see this guy be fired. But what he's doing right now, a lot of fans don't like. You know, some fans do like it, and I'm not denying that. I've seen it. Some fans have come out and said, hey, this guy's doing a great job. Don't be, don't be so down on him. The guy knows more about this character or these characters than you do. This guy's given this character it's the qualities back. This character, this guy's, you know, redeemed this character in the eyes of many. I've heard all that, and I'm not... I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing even with that. Perhaps he has done that. And I have to agree there are some moments throughout his run. And even in the recent year or so, he has done some good things. I'm not saying he hasn't. Hey, when I read Genesis, I thought it was okay. I thought it was cool. A great nostalgic feel. When he did Iron Dominion Saga for a whole year, I thought to myself, oh, it's okay, it's cool. But I understood why people didn't like it because it was a whole year of just literally nothing until the very end. And that's why I did that little rant, audio rant I did a year after it was all said and done. The fact is, folks, no matter what we think or how we feel, we got to realize that we're all different in every way. And we're all going to like things a certain way. And that's why a lot of fans, like myself, are upset and as fans hurt by the fact that Ian Flynn did this to this character and has even gone farther to give the character a redesign. Now, the question is, a lot of fans have, is when this character gets returned to normal, will this, will this redesign be permanent? Will this 
new hairstyle, almost like around the eye, be, be different or would they be back to normal? Well, I think I do have to agree with one thing. Either we like how a certain southern belle in the comic got returned to normal, we have to agree on something. No matter what happens, the character will be returned to normal. They'll have this hairstyle back. Maybe it'll be a little different. But they'll be back to normal. I mean, let's take a look at Sonic. For, uh, Sonic, yeah. I'll just say it right there. Let's take a look at the main hero, I should say, Sonic. When he went, what he went through through Mecha Madness, did he ever have yellow around his arms when he was normal? Did he ever have yellow? No, he didn't. He had it on his arms when he got turned into a robot. Was that part of his system? No. Did he have modifications made to him? Possibly. But the truth is, did he get returned to normal? Was he back to normal after it was all said and done? Yes. The thing is, folks, the thing is, folks, no matter how we feel, we the word as fans, hurt and upset by what has happened, we cannot deny the fact that no matter what happens to the character, what kind of redesign the character gets, they'll be back to normal before it's all said and done. You know, and the fact is, I will agree, maybe it is going a little far for people to say, hey, I want this guy fired. I want this guy removed as the head writer. Yeah, it's going a little far and everything, but again, you can't blame fans. And it's, you can't blame them it's because it's not just the storyline. It's not just the story and the way he's going with the story arc and how he's writing things out. But it's the way, but what he did to the character. It's because they're not used to seeing the character in that manner. They're not used to it. So, again, I'm going to come out in a minute. Yes, I am upset and hurt as a fan. As a fan that this has happened. Not personally, not overly affected by it. And again, you know how I deal with it? If I see a picture of the, the version of this character the way they are now, I click, I either, if I have on my DeviantArt account, account, I either close out that picture, because it's part of my subscriptions, people I'm subscribed to, I either close it out, and I look at a picture of the character the way they were. And it's like, that picture of the way they are now just goes, gone. So, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say, folks. So, again, I have admitted it. So, if you want to comment down below, go ahead. I know it may sound a little angered, a little aggressive here in this video. But you know what? You wanted the truth. You got it. So, comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'm out.